Uh, Laura? Yes? Scotty asked me to tell you that he couldn't wait to drive you wherever you're going. Why not? Well, his father had to go to court. Scotty wanted to watch the office. He said he couldn't take the time to tell you himself. All right. Thank you. Uh, wait a second. What? As long as we have a minute alone together, I want to talk to you. About what? Just a second. Uh, campus disco. Yeah, what's up? Look, I really have to go now. Uh, hold on a second. No, please wait. There's something we have to talk about. I'll only take a second here. I can't. Laura, please. Please. What'd you say? To look, look, uh, look, Brenda, look, I know you can't help it. I'm trying to understand that. Just, I can't talk to you now. Um, just try to get better and get back here on Thursday, please, before everything picks up. Right. I, okay. I'll see you Thursday. Get better. Brenda got the flu again. That's too bad. I'm sorry. You and me both. Luke, I'm supposed to meet my mother downtown for an appointment. Now, if I've got to take the bus downtown, then I really better get going. I don't want to leave my, my mother standing on some street corner waiting for me. I'll drive you. No, no, no. You haven't got anybody to take over for you here. I can manage just fine. Uh, I take it you're not going to school today? <sighs> no, I'm not. My mother and I are going to do some Christmas shopping instead. I have a light schedule at the university today, so I decided to cut my classes. I see. So what did you want to talk to me about? The Christmas shopping, huh? Yeah. I guess the jolly season's almost on us. Mm -hmm. Laura, are you, uh... Are you going shopping before or after your appointment with Dana Hotchkiss? You heard me talking to Scotty earlier. Yes. I was afraid of that. Could you be pregnant? No. No, I'm not. I'm just a little bit late, that's all. That isn't, that isn't what you told your husband. Why did you wait until now to tell him? Laura. Could it be my baby? Laura, you didn't answer my question. Could it be my child? Thought of it makes you sick, doesn't it? That's why you ran out of here. I can't talk now. I have to meet my mother. No, you will talk now because we have to get this straight. If you are pregnant... I'm not. If you are, could it be my kid? Of course not. How can you be sure? Because I would rather die than have your child. You, you have no right asking me questions about something this person. I have no right. What do you mean, I have no right? You have no right. Well, maybe, at all. maybe it concerns me just as much as it does you. What? What, you think because I work here you owe me something? No, because if you're pregnant, I'm concerned. Well, it's a little bit late for that, isn't it? Laura, look, if you're pregnant, I want to help you. I can do... I can. What do if I am pregnant? And what are you going to do? Ask for a legal abortion? That's a beautiful thought, isn't it? Getting pregnant as the result of rape entitles a girl to get a legal abortion. I can just get rid of it and come out smiling and say to myself that it was all perfectly legal. I don't have to feel guilty or sorry or as if I'm a murderer. I don't have to wonder what it might have been like to be in love with my husband and feel the excitement and the wonder of missing a period and, and just maybe having a new life growing inside of me. Don't you see what you've done to me? You have taken away all the joy and all the beauty. All that's left now is ugliness and fear and dirt and knowing that I am never going to be the same girl again. Never. I am never going to be clean again. Ever.
I guess what I felt strongest was an overwhelming sense of guilt. Guilt? Why? You were the victim, weren't you? Why should you feel guilty? I felt guilty because of who the man was. You mean you knew who the man was? I knew him very well. You mean you felt guilty because you knew who the man was? Exactly. And I worried about that months, months. Was I the victim? I mean, did I do something that might have led him on? And could I somehow have encouraged this man, quite innocently, to think that I was going to welcome or even expect a sexual advance? Laura, what are you doing at home? I happen to live here, Scotty. All right, now, come on, now, don't get uptight with me. What are you calling about? You know darn well your appointment with Dana Hotchkiss. I suppose my mother phoned you. Of course she phoned me. She was worried about you when she couldn't get you at the apartment. I just came in. Well, where were you? Out, obviously. Oh, Laura, why didn't you keep that appointment? Scotty, please. Now listen, you've missed your period. Now you have got to have that second pregnancy test. And you know it. Will you leave me alone about it, Scotty? I'll go when I feel up to having an examination and not before. Laura. God. Uh, can I uh, help you with something? Nope, just cleaning up a bit. Well, uh, why don't you sit down and have some coffee with me? I'm a little bit busy, Brian. Laura, if you don't want me here, why did you let me in? Why are you here, Brian? Or do I even need to ask? I just came up to say hi. Scotty called you, didn't he? It's all right. It's all right. You don't have to answer because I already know the answer. He called you the minute he hung up from talking to me. Why did he keep doing this sort of thing to me? Laura, the man loves you. He cares about you and he worries about you. Well, I wish he'd stop worrying. I wish everyone would. I am sick and tired of people checking up on me, snooping on me every no, minute. Nobody is snooping, Laura. All Scotty asked me to do was to wait here with you until your mother arrives. He called my mother, too? Laura, what's happened now? Why did you leave the hospital without seeing me, and why didn't you keep your appointment? Brian is here, Mother. Tears, huh? Look, I know that vase probably reminds you of Roy, but why don't you let it start reminding you of Jesse and Dan and the people who care for you? It's really not fair for Dr. Hardy to have to defend me against all these members of the ward. And that's why I quit my job. I really don't think it's right to put him on the spot like this, Jeff. Well... My dear, he's probably on the spot right now. And loving every minute of it. Let me tell you something about Steve Hardy. One of the things he likes to do best is stand up for the people that he believes in. And young lady, you happen to be that person right now. Bobby Spencer, registered nurse. Uh -huh. 